Priscilla, this is uh, your fourth finish, uh, fourth win now in Bellator. Yeah. Uh, can you talk us through the finish? Um, what do you want me to say? I finished the second round, the first round I wasn't really sharp. He hit me on the back of the head, that wobbled me a little bit. But I was st still totally focused, just uh, the electric from my legs went down. Stood right back up, I thought already, okay I'm gonna get, try and get my points on the first round. Then I'm gonna try and finish him on the second round, which, made, which, which I succeeded. And did it feel good to get back to you know, another finish since your last fight went to a split decision? Yeah. It's perfect, it's the, it's the best feeling ever. My last fight was uh, on point. I won, I think I won, I felt I won, but I wasn't happy with it. Now after this fight I can be happy, I can take a drink and uh, make a party out of it, celebrate out of it. Did that affect the way you approached this fight in any way, in terms of kind of uh... Made me hungry. Yeah. Uh, made me also realize I still got three, five minutes around me. Uh, it was a long time that I fought on the decision. And after a few years I fought on the decision again for my last fight. So it gave me more motivation to do my thing. It's got a fantastic finish, well done. Thank you, sir. One person who <coughs> has his eye particularly on you, and he switched his attention from Mike Shipman to you, particularly yeah. in life, what's actually happened, uh -huh. is Fabian Edwards. How does a fight with Fabian Edwards, does that interest you? Does that pique your interest? Um, if he wants to fight, we can fight. If Bellator wants me to fight him, we'll fight. But at the end of the day, I want to fight better people. Like better people, I mean that he's not a bad fighter. He's a good fighter. He's got. He can sell himself really good. But I want to fight a, three, a top three contender. Number one, two, or three. I want to be the next person in line when Gerard leaves or goes up. He's gonna. He's gonna fight for the belt now, and he's gonna. And he's gonna keep it. I want to be the next one in line when he leaves the belt. I want to be the next one in line to fight that for that belt and defend it. Okay, well you've left it pretty wide open there in terms of number one, two or three. Have you got any particular names? Any names spring to mind straight away? <coughs> I was thinking of this, uh, I, don't, I don't remember his name. Uh, Lovato fought him also, he won with him against the submission. Uh, Salter, Salter or something. He's, he's, he's high in the rankings, um, probably be him. Or yeah, what I said before, whatever Bellator wants me to fight. Yep. Even though I would like to get more money though, to, if I'm going to stand at the top, but yeah, so be it. You had a lot of uh, Dutch support as well tonight. Um, yeah. What, what did it feel like? What did the crowd feel like? It was? wasn't only Dutch, it was a lot of Englishmen as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it felt really great. Uh, I think this was the most support I had in, since my fighting career. It felt like these people got my back. I'm not fighting on my own, I'm fighting for them, I'm fighting with them. And I bet they feel the same. Costello, first of all, congratulations, beautiful performance. Thank you. Your opponent had you in the guillotine. He was had that me tight? Bit. That was tight, yeah. But it wasn't tight enough to make me finish. It was tight enough to make me stop breathing. Not to make me knocked out, but to hold my breath for a second. I knew he can't take it on for like two minutes nearly. He would gas out, he's too muscly for that. Uh, so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna hold him there, make him make a mistake, and then I threw him on the floor. Or I tripped him on the floor. You trained with Gegard and he was already talking about him. Mm -hmm. Just how good is he? Gegard? Yes. Well, you can see his record, that's how good he is. 46-6 or something like that. Best middleweight in the MMA history. Best MMA fighter in the, in the history. He fought light heavyweight, heavyweight. Beat them all. Be beat most of them. I'm sorry. So, so, the first round was a little bit slow start. Yeah. What, what was your mindset going into the second round? <clears throat> uh, first round was was I was I wanted to keep him on distance with kicks, but I saw he had his distance good, so I was like shit. I was not concentrated. In the second round, I was, I felt okay. He didn't finish me in the first round, and he was gassing a lot, a lot compared to me. So I thought, okay, if he comes in, I'm gonna take him to the floor again. If he wants to clinch, I'm just gonna take my rest until he gasses out even more. He, w he, can't finish, uh, he can't finish on points because he gets too tired. So I had to finish him. If it was the third round, I would have finished him there as well. How fast do you want to enter the cage again? Dude, they said I had to take rest for seven days, so two weeks will be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Costello, um, you both came into this fight, you and Shitman both have only one loss, one yep. record. So it's <laughs> bound to shape up the division uh -huh. that you're both in. So get in the finish and uh, do you think you've really made a, a statement tonight on, on the division? Well. I heard the people screaming a lot, so I guess so, yeah. <laughs> um, also, the talk of um, uh, Bellator heading to Amsterdam, would that be definitely of interest to you? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to fight in Amsterdam, even though in Spain, I'm growing up in Spain, I've been living there for 20 years. If they go to Spain, I'd take a big public with me there as well. So, hablo español también. Thank you.
How are you celebrating tonight? Uh, with you guys. <laughs> Big. <laughs>